Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing my first ever Sephora Squad PR haul. One of the big perks to being an ambassador to Sephora is of course, free products to try, and this video is not sponsored. But I thought it would be a lot of fun to sit down and show you guys everything that has been sent over so far, because a lot of these brands I'm not very familiar with. You know, I've heard of them, I've never tried them, I've certainly never talked about them before on my channel. So today we will unbox everything together. On Thursday, we had our virtual launch party and everyone was sent this giant box from Sephora filled with goodies, including, but not limited to, the robe that I'm currently wearing. See, it says hashtag Sephora Squad. I figured why not throw it on for today's video. I can be comfy cozy. They also sent over this cute little stemless flute as well as a little bottle of champagne to celebrate. I did not get into this just yet. A couple other branded goodies that were sent over. This cute little Sephora Squad compact mirror. This is always convenient. This side is magnified. Woo. That's scary. <laughs> it's scary, but essential at the same time. So something like this is easy to just throw in your makeup bag, throw in your purse. I'll hold on to that. There's this cute little Sephora Squad scarf. I don't know. I guess you could do a lot of different things with this. You could roll it up and maybe tie your hair back whenever you're washing your face or applying makeup. This is very cute. And then we have a couple little notepads. I always need notepads, so that is really nice. But besides the stationery, the really exciting thing that was sent over was this giant Sephora Squad box, which is huge and heavy. I will do my best to open it up on camera so you can see it, because it is quite impressive. Oof. So you see it says Sephora Squad, and then you take it off the top. And it says, welcome to the squad, Erin Nicole. I thought that was such a nice touch. Everything was personalized. And then inside, you have ooh, all of the great stuff. So let's dive right in, shall we? The first thing I'm gonna pull out of this box is this Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. This excites me, and I saw they had offered this as a deluxe sample recently. It was something that you could add to cart. I think you maybe needed a little promo code, but I love the idea of a hair mask. I picked up so many during the last Sephora sale, but I don't care. I feel like you can never have too many hair masks. Not when your hair is as dry and damaged as my hair. So it has avocado to nourish and condition hair, kiwi, spinach, Sounds interesting, and I love this packaging. It looks so pretty. Let's go ahead and open it up. I kinda wanna smell. Ooh, this is so cute. I love this. Nice little tub. Is it green? Ooh, <laughs> it is green. It looks like avocado. Oh, wow. Mmm. It smells like a green smoothie. I thought maybe it would smell like kiwi or one of the other superfoods, but it just has a very soft, kind of gentle scent. It's really pretty. Mmm. Okay, so that is definitely getting used the next time I wash my hair. There were several different mascaras in the box, so I'm very excited I haven't tried any of these. This first one is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed. And I feel like Marc Jacobs just released a new mascara. I don't know if this is the new one. It says Lifting and Volumizing Mascara in the shade Black. I cannot wait to try this out. I also have this Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, Lift, Length, and Curl. Ooh, this says organic shea butter and arginine. I'm not sure what that ingredient is, but it sounds promising. So this is meant to be easy on the eyes. Clean, buildable, lengthening mascara. It says a dual-sided brush. Ugh, I really don't want to open these up because once you open them, they start to dry out, but I just have to see these brushes. Okay, so this is the Limitless Lash Mascara. Let's see what this brush looks like. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. Okay, so this side has like a comb and then the other side has kind of your traditional wand. But the bristles are pretty short, which I like. That means you can get really close to the lash line. They're not so long that it makes it difficult. And then this little brush is going to help separate. Nice. I might as well go ahead and open up this Marc Jacobs. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, this is the new one. I'm pretty sure. It's beautiful. I love this black and gold. So pretty. Okay, let's see it. Looks nice. It feels really nice. You know how sometimes you can just tell that the formula is really soft. Hmm, sort of tapered. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think that's kind of perfect. I'm excited to try that, ooh. Okay, so maybe I'll do one on one side, one on the other side tomorrow. And I've been using my Babe Lash Lash Serum for the past couple nights. I'm trying to be consistent so I can actually see results. Well, fingers crossed I, I'll see results. You know I have to be honest with you guys. I've already unboxed this. I smelled it yesterday. I couldn't resist, but I'm gonna unbox it again. So this is from Maison Louis Marie. This is number four, Bois de Balancourt. It's a little rollerball fragrance. I've never heard of this fragrance brand before. Maison Louis Marie. I need to do more research. Here's the little travel spray. It's actually not a roller ball. It's a little mist, which I prefer. Big spray. Oh, it's a fine mist as well. I love this. It reminds me so much of the fig candle from Diptyque. Without knowing anything about the brand, anything about the notes, my initial reaction is just that it's lovely. It's so pretty. Mm. I would definitely take that on a trip. It's really nice. Okay, what else? This I have yet to unbox. I had no idea what this was. It says Heretic Parfum Dirty Lemon. Never heard of this brand either. Tart, delicious, and just a little naughty. Zesty lemon, Italian bergamot, lime, and bitter citrus. Hmm. Patchouli, Australian sandalwood, and black pepper. Oh, I see. Ah, so this is a little travel as well. I do love the bottle. This clean label, it's really pretty. Okay. Another very fine mister. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that is unexpected. And I already read the notes. I know what's in it and I'm still shocked. So the initial spray is a burst of citrus. Lots of lemon right off the top. The lemon, the bergamot. What else does it say? Lime, bitter citrus. Yes, you get all of that immediately. And then within a minute, it dries down and it's so soft and smooth and it almost floral. And yet, it says patchouli, sandalwood, and black pepper. I get the sandalwood for sure. When I first sprayed, I didn't think I was going to like it at all. But now it's actually really nice. Two very different fragrances, both are beautiful. They also sent over this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, SPF 40, perfect for summer. This is the classic. Of course, now I am obsessed with the glow screen. If you love very radiant, dewy looking skin, the glow screen is incredible. I do have the Unseen Sunscreen in my bathroom cabinet as we speak because this one's really nice as well. And you don't always want that extreme luminosity. So this is a great option to have. And just like the glow screen, it feels really lightweight. I would go so far as to say the Unseen sunscreen is a little bit lighter. It just sort of feels like a primer. Now that the beaches are back open, I am definitely going to put all of my sunscreens to use. It says 100% invisible, 100% game changing. I love this stuff. Let's see, I think this is probably sealed. Since I already have one of these that's open, I'm not going to unseal it, but it's clear. 
it's really beautiful. It's so light. I've been saving the best for last, of course, so these next few products are the ones that I am most excited about that came in the box. So here we have the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine, Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I don't own anything Fenty, I actually just placed an order for the cream blush and the cream bronzer based off of your recommendations. So I'm excited to try those. They should be here tomorrow, maybe Monday, but I'm excited about this lipstick. This is the shade Tang Thang 03. In fact, why don't I just try it on right now? Ooh, very pretty. So let's see. It's pretty. It feels really nice as well. Ooh, I love it. It feels so smooth. This reminds me a lot of that Hummingbird lipstick from Shantikai. And the tube is really pretty as well. It looks gorgeous, it feels very lightweight. I love that lipstick, so pretty. Here's another brand that I've heard of but I have never tried. This is from Milk Makeup, which I didn't even realize was sold at Sephora. This is the Kush Clear Brow Gel. Do something dope for your brows. Nice. I'm always interested in new brow products. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, and the brush is so teeny tiny. Okay, so I might as well put this one on as well. I'll put my hair by my ears and lean in so you can see. I generally don't use a brow gel daily. I do every once in a while. I would if I found... Oh wow, it smells kind of like cucumber. I would use a brow gel if I thought it would work and it would really hold my brows in place, but I just have never found a brow gel that is strong enough or has enough hold. So I always feel like it's kind of wasteful. I just always skip that step. Even though I do like a fluff brow, at least a medium fluff. And I'm too afraid to try soap on my brows because it's just too hot and humid outside. I think it would melt. Let me do the other side. And I am actually meeting my girlfriends for coffee after I film. So we'll see if this lasts in the <laughs> Miami humidity. Let me know down in the comments, have you tried this brow gel? Do you have a favorite? Something that you think will hold because I have yet to find one and I would love your recommendations. Another brand I've heard of but never tried is Huda Beauty. I don't own anything from Huda Beauty. This is the Topaz Obsessions eyeshadow palette. Take off the plastic protector. I love how it's a smaller size. I know she has those huge palettes. I've swatched them in store <laughs> when I've visited Sephora and I've always thought they look so pretty. They're colorful, tons of glitter and all sorts. I've just never been tempted to pick one up, so I'm excited to try her formula. And these colors are really nice. This is just kind of that perfect palette. You know, this is going to look nice on just about everybody. This yellow shade is beautiful. It's kind of a mustard seed, maybe. <laughs> kind of, yeah, mustard. Should we swatch it? We might as well. Okay, I'm digging into the mustard. Ooh, I think this could be so pretty on the crease or the lid. I just love the idea of that. It's such a unique color. Okay, I'm going into this top bronze shade. Oh wow, now this feels creamy. Let's see. That's beautiful. I love copper. This is going to be pretty on hazel eyes, blue eyes, so this is perfect for me. These are the colors that I generally live in over the summer. Going into this burnt brick shade. That's really nice. Beautiful. Ooh, 
this bronze right here also feels really soft. That's gorgeous. It's almost like a rose gold. Really pretty. This peachy shade right here in the center. This is pretty. Oh wow. That dark copper is incredible. Let's see, I'm going on the one right below it now just because I want to swatch these side by side. Oh yeah, they're very different. Gorgeous. And then we have this perfect medium intensity brown. Swatch that up here. Beautiful. And then the deep chocolate. This will be your depth dimension, perhaps an eyeliner shade. Nice. That swatched really pretty. The last makeup product in the box is one of those cult favorites that I cannot wait to try out. This is from Tatcha. It's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've heard so many people talk about this and I've never tried anything from Tatcha. The bottle is stunning. Might as well test it out. It says to give it a good shake. Ooh, it feels so light. I think next time I might try this underneath my makeup and see what happens. I'm so happy to have this. Now I can play around with it. The last thing that was sent over by Sephora in the box is this selfie kit. <laughs> this is very cute. I love this little makeup bag and it comes with a little ring light for your phone, which is pretty cool. I might play around with that as well as this little tripod, which I think is very cute. That's all that came in the giant box from Sephora, but wait, there's more, because I've had a couple brands reach out lately to say congratulations for making Sephora Squad. We'd love to send you some of our top selling products, our best sellers, because we are carried in Sephora. So I have another box here that I've been saving to share. This is the Elite Collection, the Mirror Finish Makeup Brushes from Artiste. I have never tried these brushes and I'm very excited. So this is a set of five brushes. Oval three, four, seven. There's a linear and a circle brush. They certainly look beautiful. And I remember when these first came out, they were all the rage. Let me know down in the comment section, have you ever tried these Artiste brushes? I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. I cannot wait to put those to use. I've been looking at them for such a long time. They also sent over a few other things. So there's this brush cleaning pad, which I will absolutely use. Brush cleansing foam, always convenient. And I think that's probably good for all brushes. These I did open up. These are brush cleaning wipes. And wow, are these convenient. When I was creating my tutorials using the Divine Rose and Divine Rose 2 eyeshadow palettes, these came in handy. I'm obsessed with these. For any working makeup artist, I think these are essential. They're just so convenient. Very happy to have those. Um, what else? Ah! And then I also have this Aquis Rapid Dry Hair Turban. This is another one of those products that I've seen, I've heard about it, but I've never had an opportunity to try it out. Now my hair is so long and I do always try to ring, ring, ring it out, you know, get as much water out as possible, but I feel like I just have too much hair for this little head wrap. So we'll see. <laughs> I guess this fabric is supposed to absorb a lot of the water from your hair and help prevent damage. I'm all about preventing damage, so I'm willing to try absolutely anything. I'm excited to try this the next time I wash my hair. And they also sent this detoxifying hair and scalp wash. It says this is ideal for use prior to coloring or bleaching. I do have another hair appointment scheduled soon, so I will be sure to use this before I go in for my hair appointment. I am very interested in this as well. The last thing I have in this box is some skincare. So this is from Belief. I want to say this is one of the clean at Sephora brands. So this is the True Cream Aqua Balm with Aloe Vera. And this is just the original True Cream Aqua Balm. I have a day cream right now that I love, but anything with aloe is really interesting, especially because I'm always exposed to the sun. So I think I will probably try this one first. 
and see what happens. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. I just want to smell it. Oh, yeah. It looks like a gel cream. It looks so light and nice. It doesn't really have a scent. There is no fragrance in this moisturizer, which I kind of prefer. That is going to be beautiful. I bet that's nice for anybody who doesn't like fragrance, anybody with sensitive skin. I love a lightweight gel moisturizer for the day. Anything with aloe vera, sign me up. That's it. That's everything that has been sent over so far. I cannot wait to try out some of these products. You can expect a lot of reviews coming very soon. That Huda Beauty palette, the Tatcha, the Fenty, Marc Jacobs mascara, Briogeo hair mask. I'm just gonna slather everything on as soon as I stop filming. I'm really looking forward to it. But that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face, down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.